setup has completed, and the system is going to reboot one more time. Actually, if you know Windows at all, you'll know that it's going to reboot more than once. But it's going to reboot and let us do something. And that is what I meant to say. So it's booting up, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to log in. Make sure my mouse is captured so I don't start looking like a doofus. server 2003 installation. Of course it's going to set up the personalized settings for your different applications there. And then if you install a version of server 2003 that came with R2, you're going to be prompted to run the setup off of disk 2. We're not going to do that because we don't want to install R2 because it's not on the test. So we're just going to hit cancel and OK. And then it's going to take us to the Windows Server Post Setup Security Updates. It's going to give us the option to update the server and then configure automatic updating. Now when you configure automatic updating on the server, you really need to think about it. Because typically when heavy in update comes through. If you have automatic updates configured to automatically install and reboot, then the system's going to reboot and you didn't do it. This really sounds like something that could get you in a lot of trouble, so you may not want to do that. You're going to want to go ahead and run your updates update your machine now. Okay? I'm not going to update mine right now. I'm going to come back to it. After you've updated your machine, you'll get the Manage Your Server screen where you can add and remove roles. And we'll use this in the very next video. So, basically, you've got your machine up and running.